right, stop me if you've heard this one. It's an old joke. There's a guy in a restaurant, and he, and he yells, Hey, waiter, uh, there's a fly in my soup. What's it doing over there? And the waiter rushes over, looks in the guy's soup, and he says, I don't know, backstroke? All jokes aside, a lot of people are starting to really take a look at bugs. Seriously, bugs as a health food. They say it's good for the environment and possibly good for you. Silkworm larva. Stir fried with soy, sugar, and just a dash of white pepper. The silkworms have, have texture of like popcorn and they have a creamy center. Bon appetit. Typhoon Restaurant in Santa Monica is one of a handful of restaurants right here in America that serve patrons bugs on purpose. Chili pepper seasoned crickets. Even scorpions on shrimp toast. Scorpions still have the stingers in them, but yeah, they are dry, so the poison is neutralized. Scorpions are just one of 1,700 bugs that are safe for people to consume. It's still a novelty here in the States, but insects are part of a daily diet in most of the world. Earlier this year, the United Nations held a global conference on the benefits of eating insects, even suggesting it might be a good solution to world hunger. I don't know why the United States doesn't eat insects when they're actually very healthy for you. And he's right. Insects are high in protein, low in fat and cholesterol. Take a cricket, for example. A six ounce serving of these crunchy bugs have 60% less saturated fat as the same amount of ground beef. And now the ants. These string potatoes aren't complete without adding some dried ants. If they taste a little sour, tangy, and they have a hint of black pepper tone. They also have 14 grams of protein per serving. With the growing population and rising costs of food, the rest of the world just might be onto something. Now, if you uh, plan to give bugs a try, uh, do make sure you get them from a certified seller or restaurant. You know, some bugs may have chemicals on them, so you don't want to just pluck them from your own backyard. Superstar athletes are years in the 